what is the best Facebook ad objective that you need to use in order to make sales in dropshipping? So guys, a lot of people, when they start dropshipping and they see, you know, a Facebook advertisement, they're kind of overwhelmed with all those uh, features and all, all those objectives and they don't know what to do. And guys, let me tell you something. Uh, if you want to start dropshipping, uh, you need to follow, um, let's say, a step-by-step -step plan in order to succeed. Uh, you need someone that will lead and tell you where you need to go because obviously there's a lot of features and a lot of those features are here to complement or uh, help you in other businesses. Like let's say if you're a consultant or if you're selling you know, in, a, in the real estate business, there's different type of uh, campaign objectives that you want to use. And maybe if you're focusing in dropshipping, you're using the wrong one and you will it will never lead to actually make sales. So make sure that you choose the right objective right off the bat so you don't make any mistakes. And, you know, uh, I'm here to help you set up this objective correctly and just choose the right one at the end of the day. Um, me and my brother, we've been doing dropshipping for over six years now. Uh, we have been in the game for so long. We have been doing Facebook ads, Instagram influencers, uh, TikTok ads uh, for the past a few years. And we just want to help everybody. If you're advanced, uh, if you're a beginner, we have all type of videos. We post three videos every single day. And today it's a pretty simple videos for get beginners. I know it could help a lot of people because when I started, I didn't have that help. And I was quite overwhelmed with all those objectives and I overspent money for no reason. So I basically prayed <laughs> to have someone like me and my brother uh, to make great content that will lead me towards the right direction so I can make as little mistake as possible. So yeah, today we're going to speak about all those uh, objectives and which one is the best for you because, you know, there's, there's a lot of them and most people, they don't know uh, which one is the right for you. So as you can see, awareness is a uh, reach, brand awareness, video views, store location, uh, and yeah, store location awareness. So this is more when you're something like uh, Adidas, when you're something like McDonald's, that you're already established and you want as more eyes as possible. So you don't want, you don't want to convince people. You just want to target as many people as possible. And people will think, well, that's what, what I want with my store. No, because the people that it will target, it will target like very broad general people. And um, it's not people that will like convert right away. It's people that will convert after seeing your videos maybe 10 times. You know, think about it. Let's say you see an ad about McDonald's. You won't go to McDonald's right away. But next week, if you see three, four times ads about McDonald's, you will be like, oh, I mean, McDonald's is a good idea today. Let me go eat McDonald's. So just by doing that awareness, they will be able to target you over the time because you will know that you will trust McDonald's. It's not, you won't ask yourself, oh, is McDonald's trustworthy? No, you will say, oh, I've seen McDonald's a few times. I think it's a sign. It's not a sign. They're just targeting you like crazy. But this is good when you're already established in a billion dollar brand, basically. So traffic. Traffic, it's, um, you know, you send people to a destination, click your website, app, Instagram, profile, Facebook events, link clicks, landing page view, messenger, Instagram, or WhatsApp calls. I like to do this when it comes down to, you know, um, getting messages, like getting me messenger, Instagram, like to have a lot of people that wants to contact me and talk to me. So I like to do this because at the end of the day, people will like, oh, yeah, well, I will receive a lot of traffic in my website. Yes, but it's not, it's not, again, it's not people that will purchase right away. It's it's people that will, that will maybe start a conversation with you, maybe comments, and they will come back here and there, and that's it. So you need a lot of traffic, and it's not perfect when uh, it comes down to having sales and growing an online store engagement um you know uh, get uh, get more messages purchased through messaging videos so engagement is it's just okay do you want more comments do you want more people to view um you know 
conversion too, but I won't use that one for conversion. This is mainly to have more interaction of your video because think about this. It's like the, the, um, the snowball effect. Uh, the, if you see a video without, uh, let's say, text, if you see a video without comment, then what's going to happen? then people will be like, oh, they will not comment. But if they see a lot of comment, they will tend to comment more. And your video, by having more comment, will get that momentum and that viralness. So you want to make sure that you use that in order to push your videos even more and to get more virality. Leads, um, this is good when you're uh, selling something bigger. Let's say you want people to, um, uh, let's say, write, like, Come, um, let's say, uh, the, how can I say that? That you want to um, write a form um, and you want to send, send them a message. Like it's something that it's high um, in terms of cost. Like it costs a lot. Let's say if you're selling a course at $10,000, then you want them to, uh, to complete an instant form so you can see if they are the right client. And after that, you will send them to let's say a call or maybe a Zoom meeting to convert them. So it's some leads are there to sell people for something bigger. Same thing for a house. If you're you know uh, selling houses, then uh, lead form is great because you will know uh, if it's the right person right away and you will not lose time because at the end of the day, you maybe only need to sell one or two per month. So it's not like if you sell a $30 product, if you sell a $30 product, you need to make a good money. You need maybe need to send 100 units, 200 units. But in terms of leads, you can close one lead and make 10K profit. So you don't need as much. Well, obviously, if you scale, the better, um, you know, the better, the, the more leads you have, the bigger your business will become. But you don't need as much as um, other type of campaign objective. Uh, app promotion, if you're promoting an app, it's it's be it's pretty straight away. Let's let's be honest. If you're promoting an app, then you want to choose app promotion because um you, you, yeah, it's just, just what it is. It tells you, hey, you want to promote this app, then choose this lead. Now the big boy, the one that I always choose, hundred percent of the time. Let's be honest. I never choose any of those. Um, any of those. I always choose sales. Why? Because what you want is sales. What you want is people that have behaviors of purchasing online, that have behaviors of adding their credit card in Facebook, that have behaviors of purchasing in an ad on Facebook. And by having that and having a good offer and a good product in front of them, you will be able to have sales. So keep in mind that if you're doing dropshipping, that's the only campaign objective that you want to do. Nothing else. I do this all the time. That's it. Nothing more. So if you want to start your dropshipping journey, don't don't start testing all of those campaign objectives. Please, it's, it's worthless and you won't make sales. Start with sales right away. That's what you want. That's what will make grow your business. And if your product, even with sales conversion, with a good offer, uh, with a good targeting, I have a video about targeting and my brother is making videos about, you know, product, product selection. So you guys can know, you know, how to do uh, the other things correctly. But um, if you want sales, just go for sales. Don't choose anything else. It's a waste of your time. Please focus on this. So guys, if you have any question you know, about Facebook ads and about other videos that it could make, let me know. Uh, I want to speak a lot about Facebook ads. You know, I've made so many videos about TikTok. My brother has been made making many, many videos every single day about TikTok too. And we want to show other platform. And, you know, we don't want to show a random platform. We want to show the powerhouses in 2024. So the powerhouses are TikTok and Facebook. Both of them are a credible platform. Both, both of them have their pros and their cons. But at the end of the day, both are incredibly powerful platform. You choose just the one you want. You will follow the videos of the one that you desire the most. I know that I'm making, uh, that is 
you know, I will start making more about Facebook ads because there's not so much videos in terms of dropshipping uh, about Facebook ads. Everyone is speaking about TikTok now. It's like, it's like getting crazy. So if you want to do dropshipping and you have any question because you want to start Facebook ads, let me know. If you have any problem with your page, if you have any problem uh, with um, you know, the targeting, if you have any problem with create a quote, decent offer, let me know. And I will make more video about those because me and my brother, we're here to build the biggest community ever. And we're here to grow this community at a, you know, at an extreme. So please let me know if you have any question, let me know my brother, if you have any question, uh, we're simply here to help. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to comment. We post three videos every single day. Guys, three videos is a lot of work. So uh, the only thing that we're asking from you is that you watch the video entirely and that you comment and subscribe. That's the only thing that we're really asking. So yeah, wish you all an amazing rest of your day. Hopefully we can have a uh, the support we are already at 3000 subscribers and it's been an incredible journey but it's only the beginning it's going to grow 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 and become better so like i said wish you all an amazing rest of the day and peace out